What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are here in Sky Factory again. And you may have just seen in the time lapse at the beginning that I was sieving gravel and I thought I might start to make some seared bricks for a smeltery just because I, from sieving quite a lot of ore chunks and I didn't want to just waste those by smelting them. I wanted to see if I could make myself a little smeltery to get the most out of them. But I got three diamonds with that, which is incredible. Which, if I make enough iron, I can make myself an auto hammer. We'll need to use a generator, but that is jumping from the Stone Age directly into like mechanical engineering, which is pretty cool. So, smelting some seared bricks, which at the moment, I believe I can turn into a couple of things. To make a smeltery, I do need quite a lot, but I'm wondering. Is there a way just to make a smeltery thing? Okay, all right. So it does just mean that we've got to build a little more. But we can build just the basics and get ourselves... Let's have a look. So we need a smeltery controller and a seared tank. Have we got any glass? We should do. We should have glass here. There we go. So a seared tank just to hold the lava. We need... Smeltery controller, brain of a smeltery. That's what we need. So we need that. That's fine. We start putting it down, can't we? Should we build a new area? Do we want to go... Let's just go out. Let's build it out of wood, though. Which way should we go out? We've already built that way. Let's build that this way. Don't have to go far. Right then. So a smeltery controller. Let's put that here. Let's put the tank here. Let's go get some more. What's next? Next up would be the drains. So let's... You just want to get it cooking, really. So that could really be it, actually, thinking about it. Okay, let's build a drain, because we are going to need one of those eventually. What else can we make? Okay, so that should be enough for now. So now we just need to make some seared brick. Ooh, <laughs> that's not good. Lead him away, I've got no food either. Let's definitely get some, let's definitely get, we definitely need to put some torches down. Right, let's put a drain here. Let's put the casting basin here for now. We do need a spout eventually. Plus, these are the bricks that we're going to need. So we do need a couple more. Let's make ourselves a little faucet. Throw him down. Here. Let's try and fill it with lava. Might not let me. Yes, it will. That's good. It's getting there. Oh, I actually, I need to put... I need to put seared brick on the base, don't I? I forgot about that. Right, we're definitely going to need to make some more... We're definitely going to need to make some more grout. That is nowhere near enough. We have made, that might be a hint, loads of seared bricks. And it is now fully functional. It did turn out that the buckets have a temperature rating. So uh, it burns up when lava goes in it. But we have finished it. We've got two drains. We've got a little smeltery controller, which allows us to pour blocks out and ingots, which I have created that ingot mold by pouring pouring two ingots worth of gold into a ingot of iron and it's made that mold for me which is good so i've poured that now give me four ingots left so i just need to pour that four times pretty quick to set there we go pull that out do it again that's just setting now and it gives us a lot a lot more for our money also it's crazy i got diamonds i think i said that already now what we can do is we can fill this full of cobble 
and we can make ourselves seared bricks. It can make itself seared bricks. There we go, like that. Just like that. Easy as pie. And then as it's taller, it'll hold more things. So it can hold 72 ingots at the moment, but when we make it bigger, it can hold a lot more. Now we can start putting these in our precious metals bin so that we don't lose them, including the diamonds that I accidentally got. More seared bricks. And that might be enough to complete the second layer. One, two, three, four. We need one more. Should be nice and easy. Should be able to just pull that straight into there. Get ourselves one more. Into here, into here. Nice. How many can we hold now? 144. Wow. Look at that. <coughs> oh, 144 ingots, that is. Not 144 blocks. We can also put a redstone clock on this to pour itself, but it does it so quickly. I might as well just stand here and do it. Not in that much of a rush. I've also built a little platform underneath it in case we need to retrieve those just so that we can access them from underneath because if we have to knock those out for any reason, including filling it up halfway and not being able to get the rest out, we can knock them through and get to it from under here. So, But I've lit it up because it was pretty bad. It's, it's all right. It's all right. We need 12 in total to create a next layer. I believe we can just also move it back, make it wider, make it taller, make it thicker. Should all do the same thing. Where are our original books? Let's have a look. Achievement book. Let's have a look. See what it says. Use a crook on leaves. We've done that. Twerk a sapling. We've done that. Make a dirt. Yep. Invest leaves. Yep. Use a crook. Sieve. Rainwater. Melt saplings. Yep. We've made cobblestone. We've crafted a hammer. We've sifted gravel. We've made... We haven't made tinker's construct bones from bone and bone. What? We haven't made tinker's construct tools from bones and flint. We haven't done that yet. We've made clay. We've cooked in a crucible. We've heated a crucible. We've made a cobblestone generator. Stone Age now. Make a dark room. We have done that. It didn't work, but we've done that. Field of grass. Yep. Yeah. Second layer to your island. I have literally just done that by accident. Didn't know it was in here. Haven't made obsidian yet. Don't really need to yet. Tinker's construct smeltery. Just done that. Nice. Cobblestone, no, haven't done that because I haven't used transfer nodes. Upgrade my mob farm to kill monsters automatically. I haven't done that. I haven't enchanted a sieve mesh. Haven't made a watering can. Haven't captured a cow in a jar. Right, okay, we're getting onto things we really haven't done, but it'd be good to do these things next. Bit of a short episode today, so I am sorry, but we've definitely achieved quite a big thing. This will really help us in the future, especially with... Well, it builds itself, but it'd be good for these ores. Uh, should I keep throwing one bucket? Oh, oh, yeah. Throw some more in there. Right, well, thank you guys for watching. Have an incredible day. I love you guys.